Thank you for tuning into our seller interview series. Up today, we've got an e-commerce business for sale in the apparel and accessories niche. Created in January 2017, this business makes $15,828 per month in net profit, and the listing number for the business is 45920. We do these interviews to give potential buyers more information about both the seller and the businesses they're looking to purchase. We hope these insights are helpful for you in making a buying decision. We've got the seller with us today to go through the business and cover everything from niche selection to traffic and monetization. Alex, thank you for coming on here today. How are you doing? I'm really good. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure. Very glad we could connect today for this interview. And I'm excited to discuss this your e-commerce business with you. But before we dive into the questions that I have for you, I'm going to go ahead and run through a little quick summary of the business. Again, it was built in January of 2017, has a monthly revenue of $34,736, expenses of $18,908 to make for net profit of $15,828, which is generated on a 12-month average. Included in the sale of this business are the domain and all site content and files, social media accounts, and please note the inventory is not normally included in the list price. Further details can be provided to active depositors. Alex, can you tell us a little bit about your background in building and running online businesses? Yeah, sure. So basically, I'm in e-commerce since like about six years. Actually, I started when I was studying with some friends, some other projects. So I've been creating this project that I'm selling now two years and a half ago, more or less. I was, you know, like just trying to explore it on the maximum, the knowledge I've acquired in all these years to create something on my own that I will like personally own 100%. And why did you settle upon selling on your own Shopify site rather than something like Amazon FBA? Well, the first, like my first e-commerce experience was something based on, uh, you know, like classic e-commerce websites. We had experiences with Amazon, but I was really much more confident in launching something that I know 100%. So I went through Shopify because I knew that I would know how to manage it 100%. Why have you decided to sell the business today? Well, like I think there is two main reasons. The first one is that like in my life, and it has always been like this, I have like cycles. And I think like this cycle for this project has ended for me. I'm really looking like for other projects and other things to do. I'm actually having a new project now. Um, so I really prefer like to give this project to someone who is going to be 100% motivated to maintain it and make it grow. And I'm also going to use the profits of this sale for another project. So yeah, this is the two main reasons. What is your main traffic source for your website? Well, I have, I would say, two main traffic sources. The first one is definitely through Facebook ads. So in Facebook ads, I include also Instagram ads because most of my communication is done on Instagram because it's a fashion brand. So it's more, let's say, the platform is better to do so. I also have a great community on Instagram and Facebook. So there is like natural traffic coming as we are posting some posts on Instagram or Facebook. And so you're definitely utilizing social media. You mentioned Facebook. Are you doing anything other than Facebook? Well, not really. This is where I think there is a huge room to grow. We don't do emailing. We don't do Google ads. We don't know Snapchat ads or whatever. So there is really, a, like to me, a big opportunity in it. What does it take from you, the owner, to maintain this business at its current level? Well, since I have a VA doing all the customer service, I don't really take care of this part. More or less, it's like two, three hours a week, managing stocks, being sure that you know everything is in stock and ready to ship, adjusting ads on Facebook, even though I like didn't touch ads since like a month and a half, and it's really going these days. You know, posting photos on Instagram, Facebook, trying to connect with the, like, you know, to make the community live with sharing the photos they are tagging us on, things like this. And you have a VA helping you run the business, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what does this VA do for you? So the VA do basically, like we, we are working on Zendesk, which is a software really useful to manage all the customer service email. So he basically answer all the email that he has the ability to do. This means like, I don't know, a delivery problem, questions about products, things like this. I sometimes need to help, like, I don't know, like really not so often, like for a really complicated case or whatever. But his job is to take care of the like entire customer service part. Will he be continuing with the business? Since it's a relative 
probably he won't, but I'm willing to find a new VA for the buyer and make the entire transition. Mm -hmm. So if you were to keep this business, right, and try to grow it, what are the big opportunities that you would focus on? Where are the opportunities for growth here? So basically on Instagram, we receive, I don't know, maybe like five to 10 demands every day about influencers. Like some have like 500k followers, 200k followers, even sometimes 1 million. And they ask for a pair of uh, glasses for free and in exchange, you know, they will do some posts. This actually, I've never went through it because I didn't have like, I don't know, I just didn't feel like I would do it well. So I didn't do it, but there is definitely a big opportunity here. There is also the Google ads that we never touched. The emailing, we have about, I don't know, like 50,000 email lists we never used. And also probably communicating more with previous buyers and the whole community that we have on Instagram and Facebook. Do you feel like there are any potential risks associated with this business that a new owner should be aware of? I would say that the competition is, yeah, it's a big risk. The fact that also the most traffic like nowadays is uh, coming from Facebook ads. However, we also have a substantial part coming from like the community we've acquired on Instagram and Facebook. So that would be okay. I would really advise the new buyer like to try. So to me, competition is a risk. The fact that like most of the traffic comes also from Facebook ads is something that the new buyer should definitely work on. But there is yeah also like we have really like substantial part coming from a community with acquired on Instagram and Facebook. So that balance a little the risk. If someone were to come to you and say, hey, Alex, you've been very successful with e-commerce and I want to get started with my own e-commerce store. What advice would you have for them? So in my experience, like I've had friends and relatives asking me like, oh, yeah, how did you do etc." Like every single time I see them prepare the, the fields like for month and month and sometimes like not doing anything. So my biggest advice would be like to go through the things like directly to get hands dirty. Once they really start something, it's like to work on every detail, like photos, descriptions, information to make it perfect. Even if it doesn't mean anything at the beginning, like, but 1% plus 1% plus 1% makes the whole thing. And that's to me, one of the most important thing. Would you commit to a non-compete? Yes. And how much support are you willing to offer a new owner during the transition period? I can do email support for 30 days and a couple of Skype calls. That's totally fine. Are you open to negotiating on something like an earnout? Yes. Yes, I am. Awesome. Alex, thank you so much for taking the time with me today. My final question for you. If you were looking at this business from the perspective of a potential buyer, why would you feel like it is an asset worth buying? Well, as the depositors would see, the last month has been really great, really successful. I've been someone like always really cautious and uh, I know that there is big room to grow. There is so many opportunities like as influencers, Google ads, emailing that I never touched. So I definitely think that, yes, this asset has a like big chance to grow uh, more than, than now. Awesome. Thank you again very much for taking the time with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. And if you want more information, the link will be below the video that will take you to this marketplace listing. If you're watching this on the listing page and want more information, become a depositor today. When you make the deposit, one of our business advisors will be in contact with you. You'll be given everything you need to review this business. Have a great day.